Hey, it's Mike for Funnier Die News, and I am here in British Columbia, Canada for the Pemberton Music Festival, answering all the questions that this year's performers are sick of answering themselves. All right, I'm here with Run the Jewels. Run the Jewels, there's well, one question you guys are sick of answering that I can answer for you. Who's hotter, Caitlyn Jenner or Kylie Jenner? Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm going to have to go with Caitlyn since Kylie's 17. Is it true you write songs about urine and hope? It's uh, half true. Uh, I don't have much hope, I'm afraid. <laughs> just a lot of urine. What's the craziest present you ever got from a fan? Uh, it was this amazing fan letter from my friend Robert Durst. Uh, he, did spell, he did spell Beverly wrong, but it eventually made its way to me. Probably things about Alaska. We get asked that quite a bit. Um, Sarah Palin references for sure. Palin references? <laughs> have you guys not been interviewed since 2008? Yo, that's on them, not on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a left-handed guitar player. Does that mean you need special equipment? Like a like a wheelchair? No. Are you guys hot in those suits? Uh, thank you for calling this a suit. It was actually five ninety nine at the Gap. Uh, but the answer is still yes, yes, yes. It's like. Even for me, I'm tired of answering all these questions, and I've only been doing it for like three or four days now. If I'm gonna be like asked questions that a star gets asked, I kind of feel like I should be treated like a star a little bit. Tell us your craziest story from the road. I guess it would be the drive up from Vancouver. We went uh, 12 miles before realizing no one was at the wheel. Do you ever play uh, music that's not original? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't play music or tell jokes that aren't original. Everything's stolen. <laughs> What's your favorite town to play in? Favorite town to play in is the town of this one. I have no idea where we are right now. We've been doing the festival circuit for a while. What's your, like, like what do you listen to? What do I listen to? Not my mom, right guys? Who do I have to talk to to get one of these? Because I'm going to ask, I'd like one for, my, for myself, but I wouldn't even really mind that much if I had to share with somebody. What are your thoughts on just like the punk attitude that you've just decided to take? Uh, I try to incorporate the punk attitude into uh, my daily life. Uh, for example, I go to Starbucks, I give them a name that's not mine, and then I just leave with the coffee. I bet I could probably just get in this one with whoever it is, you know, because I've made friends since I've been here. They said no. Are you friends with ASAP Rocky since you're ASAP? Oh, hell no, that dude would never talk to me. He's way too cool. <laughs> Goreberger, what's one question you're sick of answering that I can answer for you? These are my questions now. The Goreberger questions. <laughs> How does your genitalia work? Mine poorly, but mostly we're looking for, like, who's your greatest inspiration? Who's your greatest who's inspiration? Your, Jesus Christ. You can say Usher, and if you don't say Usher, then I don't know what will happen. It's Usher, it's Usher, a thousand times it's Usher. I can't handle these questions anymore. I'm taking a golf cart and I'm going home. I'm not waiting for the van. You can wait for the van. I'm not waiting for the van. It's locked. Hello? All these carts are locked. Can you please just shut that off? Mike, you're working. No, I'm not working. I'm fucking done working. I've been working. I'm just gonna, I'm taking this back to New York. I, I, I don't know what you want me to do. Um, Mike, Mike quit. What a diva. Uh, so this is Matt, cameraman for Funny or Die News, signing off. I figured it out, fuckface! It's unbelievable. This is my grandfather. What's your name? Tony Clifton. Yeah, Tony Clifton is my grandpa. He has no idea who I am. Nope. <laughs>